Hey y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a two-part <clears throat> video segment here today. First one is gonna be a, a general, not not a definitive, but general walkthrough of how to flash a ROM using Clockwork mod, uh, Clockwork Recovery. Um, it's again general, not the exact same scenario for every single one. So let's get started. You're going to reboot your phone, put it into recovery. So we'll give that some time. Um, and I say it's two part because I'm going to show you how uh, to to flash this particular ROM, Paranoid Android 3, and then I'm going to actually uh, give you a little rundown of Paranoid Android 3, probably my favorite ROM. So let's let this boot up here. I don't know, it's hard to say which is my favorite one because there are a lot of good ones out there. And there are plenty, plenty more that I have yet to try. So. You'll, you'll be seeing them in the near future. Come on now. Alrighty, so, you got your clockwork mod recovery. So here's what you're going to do. For this particular one, for a paranoid Android, you're going to do a wipe data slash factory reset. Yes, you will lose your data. Okay. So now we're going let to do, let it do its thing. Done. Now we're going to install zip from SD card. That's where I have mine in. So I'm going to choose the zip and then my download folder. Actually, hang on. My other download folder. Alright, so PA i6053. You can see it. That's my paranoid Android. Alright, so we're going to yes for flash this or to install, however you want to call it. And now this is doing its thing. Shouldn't take too long, but we will have to give it a second or two here. Basically, what Paranoid Android does, um, well, this particular iteration of it, but I'm going to assume the rest of them do the same thing, is uh, it'll actually color each app per app. So Facebook, you know, the, the toolbars, not toolbars, but the notification bars are going to be blue. Uh, it allows you to do like a hybrid mode, which I'll explain in the review. All right, so now we're going to go back and we're going to wipe the cache partition. I guess I can't, no, you can't see it. All right, so we're going to scroll down here, wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. Let it do, let it do its thing there. Now we're going to go over to advanced. We're going to wipe the Dalvik cache. We're gonna hit yes. Okay, got it. Now we're gonna install zip from card. We're gonna go to that same folder that I had mine in. And we're gonna flash PA, which is Paranoid Android, gaps, Google Apps, yes. This one should take no time at all. Oh actually I think I did this backwards. You're supposed to do the ROM and then wipe the cache, but I'll just wipe cache after this. Should be no big deal. I'm going to go back here to wipe the cache partition again. You're supposed to uh, install the ROM and then Google Apps and then wipe the cache, but should be alright. Going back and wiping it. Alright, everything's done. So we're going to go back and reboot the system. I'm going to take a second on the initial boot, but if all goes as planned, which there's no reason for it not to, we will be successfully running Paranoid Android 3 4.2.1 uh, on our Verizon Galaxy Note 2. There you go. It wasn't focusing. They got their nifty little boot, boot animation. Um, what I was saying about the hybrid mode is that you can choose your uh, kind of the layout as if it were a tablet or a phone or a phablet and there's Paranoid Android's little uh, little boot logo there starting up it's some sort of fish thing it's kinda hard to choose which one I prefer the most because they're all really good they all just just offer different features so I'll probably run this one for a little bit up until I get the next one going we will see what happens I'm constantly constantly changing it I'm never satisfied with one I did run Beans build for the longest time, uh, but then I 
decided to heck with it, let's try something that's not touch whiz, and I, I enjoy it. So once uh probably once Beans Build 10 comes out, I'll give that one a try. Right now it's on nine, and I have I stopped after eight. So I'll probably go back to Beans uh, Beans 10. Hopefully it's about done here. The initial boot is going to take longer than the rest of them. So you're, you're going to have to be patient with it. And then I'm going to have to go through my setup process, which I won't show you because it's just useless, really. You have nothing really that's uh, of interest to anybody, I think. Anyway, though, that is Paranoid Android 3. How to install it. You know, quick rundown of it. Uh, pretty straightforward. If you need any help, please let me know. Please, please, please. I do not want you guys to uh, have brick bricked devices. Um, keep in mind, you are doing this completely at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything you do. But if you can do it right, it is pretty dang sweet. So, it's Peter signing off. Saying see you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.